Hello and welcome to Universal Interiors. I am Uni and we are here with Jenea Davis, um, owner of Jay's Garden Boutique. And today we are going to have Jenea show us how she puts a window box together. And this is just one of many things you can do too. It's kind of like exterior interior for your deck or your, mm -hmm. your porch. So um, let's get busy and show us your ways. Okay, well thank you. Um, I'm gonna teach everyone today how to put together a winter uh, window box. And a window box is a fabulous addition to a house. If you need to dress the outside of your house up, a window box is a great way to do that. Um, I teach people how to go from spring to fall to winter with their window boxes. What I'm gonna stick in here first is I'm gonna stick in tree toppers. And um, I like to put these in first. I usually put a taller one in the middle. So this is just lopped off the top of a tree. Yes, and there are spruce farmers that raise these. Oh, you know, okay. I don't go in the woods and cut on any of this in. All of my greens I get in from a spruce farmer. Um, most of the greens I, I really enjoy working with are greens that are from California and Oregon. Um, the majority of the greens I'm gonna work with today are from, um, the Midwest, because a lot of my um, exotic greens are gone and sold out, because it's a little bit late in the season to be talking about this, but um, I'm still working on a project for a client, so this window box is actually being delivered tomorrow. So this just filled up the window box nicely, okay? Now, the next thing I do is I always, I like to work with different colors of green. So I'm going to put a, this is a piece of blue spruce, I'm gonna add this to the back. as just a little addition of blue, okay. So with the dirt on the bottom, do you need the dirt to be kind of frozen so that no, it's... No, the dirt has to not be frozen, and here's oh. why. Um, if the dirt is frozen, you can't stick the um, stems down into the dirt deep enough. You need to be able to stick them all the way down to the bottom of the window box or, the, or really good into a planter if you're doing a planter, and then I will tell you towards the end, you have to water this in when you get it outside. And when you water it real well, it gives the greens ample water. The greens are alive, so they drink sure. it. And then um, they freeze and they're heavy, so they don't blow down. Um, and they freeze in there so that when you get a wind or a storm, your greens don't fall out. Um, and they will stay green. If you do a window box correctly, they will stay green um, well into the winter. I mean, I usually don't take mine out until uh, April um, when it's nice enough and warm enough to go outside again. Now what I'm adding towards the back here, this is called magnolia. Magnolia is um, a tree that grows down south and gets gigantic white flowers. It's, they're beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. And these make a nice backdrop. And these have like a leathery back, kind of, it's real soft, feel that Uni? Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. And this mm -hmm. is beautiful to use in the house too. A lot mm -hmm. of people like to use magnolia in the house in vases and different things. Um, so I have a question. Yes. You do this in the winter time, summer rolls around, you can just take this stuff out and put perennials in there then? Um, you put annuals in. Annuals. annuals. Annuals are the ones you do right, every right year. There. Yep, yep. Um, and when you are working with your winter planters, do not buy any special soil. You don't need anything special. Just use the dirt left over from summer because all you basically need the dirt for is to give the plants some, the greens some water. Um, so what I'm going to stick on the edges here is some, um, this is some Oregon cedar. It has little white berries on it. I like working with stuff with berries. Um, I also have a piece of juniper around here somewhere. And that has blueberries on it. Beautiful product to work with. Um, that is so beautiful. Well, and this is a sim very simple one. I'm not putting too many crazy things in here, but you can be as crazy as you want. On the window boxes on the house outside, um, I have used peacock feathers in mine because mm -hmm. I like to be a little bit wild and crazy, you know me. So peacock is my new vice in life. I have this, I had a zebra thing, now I have a peacock addiction. So I'm just gonna stick, I like to have um, greens that pour out of the, of the window yeah. box here. And in the summer, one thing I like about window boxes too is if you have mossed window boxes or um, cocoa liner, like this is cocoa liner, you can make holes in your boxes and you can have plants growing oh. out. That's how you make your boxes look so full 
that you can't even see that there's actually a box oh, on the house. Very cool. Yeah. You can almost you can do this um, also just do it yourself and go into your backwoods and get some of those red willow. Yeah. Or I have green. some of those in here too. Yeah. Do you want to grab a few over there, Uni, for me? Yes, this client wanted some red added to their planter, so I'll be adding some red dogwood and I'll be adding some curly willow also. Curly willow does not grow here, um, but curly willow is a fabulous indoor and outdoor addition mm -hmm. to anything. It's a fun product to use. Be careful, is this, is this actual poison ivy berries? No, that's not a poison sumac, no. I have a friend who was picking it in the woods and got poison ivy all over her hand, so. There are poison sumacs, but um, most of the time, the ones with the red berries aren't the ones that do it not to you. Bad. But some people are really sensitive to different things, so. Um, I like to spray a lot of this stuff with glitter, too. If the client really oh, likes cool. the look of a little bit more schmancy, fancy. Um, another idea that I always give clients when they're doing a window box or any kind of a planter, work in odd numbers and it doesn't have to always be, um, you know, perfect. All of everything in a row or, you know, the big thing in the middle all the time. Um, not having it uniform sometimes makes your arrangement look much better. I'm actually a fan of more uncommon so you're saying yeah. balance works in threes and odds. That's true. A absolutely. Got yeah. It. Like that. So we're adding some red in here. Another great product you can use from your yard and your window boxes is if you have a um, crab apple tree, those red apples freeze beautifully also. And they're beautiful if you want to cut off a few branches and have that hanging out on the sides of your box or your planter. Those freeze wonderful, beautiful. Could you um, ever take like <clears throat> the berries, like the cranberries out of your produce department and like string them on wood or something to give a little bit of a... Absolutely, you can do that. I like to use um, fresh cranberries. They freeze nice also. Yeah. They're beautiful in the bottom of a planter. So like if you have a planter on your porch and you have a oh. few bare spots, sprinkle them in there. I have some sprinkled outside in a... Um, a bird bath with some greens and some pine cones. Just something natural and nice you can just add some fun red color. And I like how when you're driving in, you, you have um, planters down by your driveway, so when people come in, mm -hmm. you know, why can't the mailman have a little treat to look at every now and then? Yes, well, it makes it easy for my house to, for them to find my house in my boutique when they're, out, when they're out looking for me. But you can always find me on Facebook. I have a Jay's Garden Boutique Facebook page. You can always leave a message for me there. Gotcha. Okay. So see how this just fills up in a hurry when you start adding fun stuff? One of my favorite things to add are called sugar cones. I'll be right back here, hold on. Um, these are sugar cones from California. And once you purchase these, I mean, these are good for years. I mean, you just, it's an investment. You just use them year after year, don't throw them out. But look at what a great statement that makes wow. in there. Isn't that great? You talked about bulbs too, or like making it a holiday window box. Yep, I'm gonna put a couple of bulbs. This client wants to work with the lime green that's so popular. Sure. Which is my favorite color right now, if you can tell. And uh. <laughs> um, so I like to string bulbs in threes. And you can add the bulbs, I mean, you can do them anywhere in the planter, but I do recommend wiring them down because of the wind. Sure. Okay. I mean, and you can make, once you make this, um, oh, Christmas planter, then just go ahead and um, when it comes, you know, January, you wanna take it down, take it down and then you just have a nice winter planter. Oh, that is beautiful. Isn't that fun? Another idea is if you have little things in your house that you want to incorporate, like if you love birds, sure. a little bird on there. You want to clip him on for me? Very um, wonderful. Uh -oh. Isn't he cute? He is adorable. <laughs> so, and you can tuck in a whole different kind of um, idea too, is to add lots of different colored bulbs. So if you want to do the popular colors this year would be the lime green, the turquoise, the, um, the fuchsia and the purple. 
Well, thank you. Thank you. So much. This is wonderful. Jay, um, Janaea Davis here. So this is wonderful. I love it. Thank you. Come Thanks. again.